Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 40 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about a uh, couple of uh, important string functions. The first one that we're going to have a look at is the length function and the length function is used to determine the number of characters that you have in a string, right? So uh, I'll just demonstrate it to you. So you type in select first and then the name of the function which is length and uh, then within parentheses and single quotes you put in your string so let's say if i want to find out the number of characters that i have in the string hello world right it's a string of characters and i'll put an exclamation symbol too at the end and uh, when i execute this query i see that in the result set i get the answer is 12 and we can count the number of characters in the string because it's a small string the word the word hello has got five characters and then you have a space that takes the count to six and the word world has five more characters so that takes a total count to 11 and then the exclamation character at the end takes the total count to 12 characters right now one thing that you need to know about the length function is that the length function does not really count the number of characters that you have in your string but it estimates the space that's occupied by the string in the memory right so for this particular installation of mysql one character uses one byte of space but if suppose you know you were running sql on a machine that used uh, two bytes of space for one character then the length function for this particular string would have yielded the answer 24 instead of 12. Right. So if you want to calculate the number of uh, characters that you have in your string and not the space that the string occupies in uh, the memory, then you have to use another function. And that one is char underscore length. Right. So you can call it char or char or whatever, but it's uh, char underscore length. And when I would execute this query, I would still get the answer 12. Right. But this function works in a different way. As I said, it counts the number of characters that you have in your string, whereas the length function estimates the space that's occupied by your string in the memory. Right. So there's a difference in the two functions. So uh, the next function that we're going to have a look at in this tutorial is the insert function. And the insert function is used to insert a string into another string. Right. So uh, you could say that it replaces a portion of the original string with a new string. But, you know, it's actually inserting another string in, an, in, in one string. Right. So uh, let me just demonstrate it to you. It takes in four arguments, by the way. And, you know, some people say that it's a freaky function, but I kind of like it. So, you know, the first argument is the original string. So let's say I have a string. Hello, word, right? It's not hello world. It's hello word. And I want to replace this word word from the string with the word world, right? I hope I'm not confusing you guys, but that's what I want to do. So the first argument, as I said, is the original string. The second argument is the position of the you know word or the component of the string that you want to replace right so in this case i do not want this word to be there in the string so let's calculate uh, the position of the alphabet w so hello has five characters and then the space if you include that it takes the count of six so word is the seventh position in the string so i'll type in seven here as a second argument the the third argument uh, is the number of characters that you want to replace from the string right so uh, the word word here has got five characters so i'll type in uh, sorry it's got four but then the word that is going to replace this word that is world has got five characters and uh, that's why i'm going to put five there and then the last argument finally has to be the uh, string that's going to be inserted so that will be world and uh, I'll put in a semicolon and when I execute, you see that the word word has been replaced with the word word, right? So uh, I could have chosen a better example to demonstrate this, but I, I just hope that you guys have understood. And in case you have any doubts, then you can you know put in your comments and I'll uh, reply to as many as possible. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll uh, you know still discuss a few more string functions because I guess there are some that are important that we haven't uh, discussed as far, you know, the, the strcmp function, which is used to compare strings and then the replace function, reverse and repeat. So there's a bunch of them that we have to discuss uh, still. So uh, thank you so much for watching this one. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, take care.